Hey guys, it's Michael. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, 2020. We have a big update for you late in the afternoon on the second stimulus package and the HEALS Act. In today's video, we're first gonna go over how the US hit 150,000 deaths today. Then we're gonna get into President Donald Trump and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and how they said earlier today, they suggested passing a short-term extension on some of the most important aspects of the HEALS Act to make sure we get money to the people faster. Then we're going to go into White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and how in an interview earlier today, he said that he saw no deal possible on the HEALS Act or on a second stimulus package by the end of this week. So in today's video, we're going to go over all of that and more. But before we get started, if you're interested in staying up to date on what is going on in the world with your money, well then please be sure to like the video down below and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget you can get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app as well. Anyway, so more than 150,000 people have died in the U.S. from the virus, according to the New York Times database, as the rate of deaths continues to rise on the heels of ballooning infections all across the country and an increase in hospitalizations as well. An average of about 1,000 virus-related deaths a day have been reported over the past week. This is the worst seven day average since early June when the number of people dying seem to be falling. And now daily death counts are actually rising in 24 states in the US and in Puerto Rico. Next up is President Donald Trump and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin earlier today on Wednesday suggested a short term extension on federal unemployment benefits to $600 per week or $2,400 per month payments and moratoriums on evictions amid a mounting pressure on Washington to do something before millions of people lose their aid and can be evicted from their homes. In remarks outside of the White House earlier this morning, Trump and Mnuchin acknowledged that the administration and the Democrats remain very far apart on any kind of deal and reaching a deal with the heels Act. With the Senate GOP still divided over its $1 trillion package that Mitch McConnell proposed the other day, President Trump told reporters that he would rather see a narrow package passed before addressing the large second stimulus package and the HEALS Act. He said we ought to work on the evictions so that people don't get evicted from their homes, work on direct payments to people such as unemployment benefits and direct stimulus checks and the rest of it he said we're so far apart on that we don't care and we just need to move forward and get the money to people right now before we start debating on all the other aspects of this bill that don't directly affect the American people. Mr. Trump suggested that he wanted to renew a federal moratorium on evictions that expired earlier this month for millions of Americans, saying that we want to stop evictions and that keeping people in their homes during a global pandemic should be a top priority for Congress and for everyone in Washington. However, the Republican proposal called the HEALS Act doesn't even include a measure to do so, doesn't include anything about an extension on the federal eviction moratorium. Next up is White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Earlier today, he said that he saw no deal possible on a second stimulus package by the end of this week. He said, I don't see any way to get a comprehensive deal by the end of this month, and it's why the president is looking to extend unemployment benefits in some fashion before, as well as an eviction protection. He explained how right now we are way too far apart to reach a deal by the end of this month. Today is already July 29th, and there's no way they could reach a deal on all the aspects in the second stimulus package before the end of this month, which is in two days. So that is why Mark Meadows and President Trump are saying that we should do some sort of narrow package in the meantime to keep unemployment benefits going because those officially expire on July 31st and also to get more direct payments out to individuals. Senator Rob Portman, who is a member of the Senate Finance Committee and he's a Republican, he spoke on Squawk Box on Wednesday and urged Congress to come to an agreement on the federal unemployment benefits, these boosted unemployment benefits, telling CNBC that a solution 
needs to be in place this week. He explained how if we do nothing because we end up in a partisan gridlock and we don't come to an agreement and both sides go to their corners and by the end of this week if we don't have something in place the people who will get hurt are the workers because the $600 per week will end and people have been relying on that and that's millions of Americans main source of income. He said there's a cliff and we can't let that happen so we need to do something before Friday so people can make sure they receive this boosted $600 payments on Saturday and on Sunday when they normally receive their unemployment benefits. He goes on to explain how we cannot allow us to go through a period where there is no unemployment insurance going out to people. He said that $600 per week down to $0 per week is not a good option and it will have severe effects on the economy. And finally, to address something from my previous video and what I said earlier today, earlier on Tuesday, House Majority Leader said his party could be willing to compromise on the $600 per week number for the enhanced unemployment benefits. I spoke about this in my video earlier today. However, after this was said yesterday, Senate Minority Leader, who's also a Democrat named Chuck Schumer, he said that the $600 per week federal unemployment boost was not negotiable in moving forward with the next stimulus package. After the Senate discussed paying $200 per week in the HEALS Act, Schumer disputed Hoyer's remarks and he said, we don't believe that it is negotiable. We don't believe that the $600 per week payment is negotiable. He says, I don't know what House Majority Leader Hoyer was saying. He added that Democrats believe that federal unemployment benefits should be extended through January 31st and they should remain at $600 per week week. So right now, those are the two things that are holding back the second stimulus package. The first is the enhanced unemployment benefits. Democrats want this to continue at $600 per week through January 31st, and Republicans want it to be $200 per week and go to 70% of an individual's income. That was what was proposed in the HEALS Act. We'll most likely see something in between both of these. And then the other aspect that is holding up the second stimulus package is the liability protections for small businesses. Mitch McConnell said that is non-negotiable and that has to be in it. And the other thing that is non-negotiable with the Democrats is the unemployment benefits. So those are the two things that are holding back the second stimulus package. Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows will meet later today with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer to discuss more aspects of the next stimulus plan and hopefully they can discuss the HEALS Act and get something passed very quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, you can get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns Investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull Investing app using the link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.